Hey TikTok viewers, check out our newest Samsung 27 inch G6 Odyssey G60SF 500Hz OLED gaming monitor that we just received. This is the brand new Samsung gaming monitor that's both G-Sync and FreeSync compatible. And we're gonna put it through its paces here to see how this new 500 Hertz monitor does. We've booted up Cyberpunk here to run a couple of tests here. Just put that in ray tracing overdrive on our 4090. So you can see that we kind of average 87 frames, but we're gonna actually decrease this down a little bit so that we can actually see how uh, 500 Hertz and a couple hundred frames per second looks like on a monitor. Uh, the G6 G60 SF brand new monitor from Samsung features an amazing OLED screen. You can see these viewing angles are crazy and the blacks are perfect. Um, this has a whole slew of standard features that you've come to expect has two HDMI, two inputs, as well as a display port that allows us to run multiple inputs, especially if you were gaming with a console in addition to your PC, um, as well as other features, including uh, USB and audio. Uh, this also has digital audio and um, it's all on the back here. You can see the back of the monitor, which is a little hard to see, but you can kind of see the diagram here that I brought up uh, even has headphones and sound processing through this too so just in case you don't have that but what we're interested in doing is actually running another benchmark here but we're going to drop this way down let's drop this down to like a low let's see if we can crank this up and get some crazy frames per second here so that you can check this out all right, running that tech demo now. And it's running at 153, 145 frames. You can just see how silky smooth this is, yeah? It's gonna be hard to appreciate just because I'm capturing my video at 4K and 60 frames per second. But we're actually rendering at 161 which is higher than our other monitor, which was 144, 168 frames, 171 frames. And again, just silky smooth. This is all real time and again, rendered, not video. So if your graphics card can power your output and you can actually get these frames, well, now you finally have a monitor that can match your uh, frame rates, making this so silky smooth. And again, this is Cyberpunk 2077's tech demo at low ray tracing. And that's not even with frame, frame gen. So this is currently on a 4090, so I, I don't have the 5090 that I do have on a different computer hooked up to this one. This one's running at 500 hertz. So we're gonna show how the cursors are like twice as many as this one running at 165 hertz. Notice the cursors are spaced further apart. And then back here again. Yeah, that's 500 hertz <laughs> versus 165 hertz. And 165 hertz is already like almost triple the standard 60 hertz screen. So yeah, whether or not you need 500 hertz is another story, but uh, again, looking at this monitor versus that, uh, this is an IPS LCD screen, a little faded, washed out color. Uh, again, could be calibrated better. The black light, backlight is bleeding through. OLED, really fast response time, uh, true blacks, right? So uh, you'll, you'll see down in the bottom left bushes here. That's not even a true black, but you have better contrast and dark shadows there, whereas this just gets more washed out, so. True blacks, once you look at a, a darker screen, you'll probably be able to see what black looks like. So here's a look at the Samsung screen on a website that is full black. And this is the default configuration. The only light you can see is actually my keyboard. And here is our default uh, LCD monitor, IPS one, no, no less, with G-Sync, 144 hertz refresh but nothing in comparison to this. And just to show you that the monitor is on, 
Now we can actually click the website here, get out of full screen, and you can see the difference here. And you can see both of them look really nice, but that black is just more discernible here compared to here. There is light bleeding through there and infinite pitch black here. One thing that does bother us a little bit is that the frame of the monitor is finished in a silver. So the silver does stand out. If you take a look at that, the edge does kind of box you in with this little silver frame. And it would be nice if that was black to really blend in in the background or just not even have an edge at all. Uh, you can see this monitor, even with its blacks, um, at least has a black frame, whereas this has that silver frame that does stand out a little bit. With the lights off, you can't see it as much and therefore it doesn't distract as much, so it does kind of blend in, but it is noticeable. The monitor itself does feature a standard stand. Um, one thing about the stand is it does have a little bit of depth, so there's like, gosh, about a couple of inches of clearance here. Um, it does tilt and go up and down like a standard monitor, but there is a little bit more depth. So uh, compared to our other monitor here, this one does kind of poke out a little bit more from the back uh, by about an inch or two. So full specifications are available on its website, but overall the Samsung Odyssey OLED G6 27 inch 1440p HDR 500 hertz gaming monitor, pretty impressive. Main standout feature is its 500 hertz refresh rate. It's anti-glare screen and it's Q quantum dot or QD OLED panel, which makes its blacks perfect. Um, price, it might be a little steep. It is a premium monitor. And then resolution, I would love to have seen this in 4K at even um, 27 inch or 32 inch. Uh, but last, uh, most people don't have the rigs that will power 4K at 500 frames per second. As you saw, our, our 4090 water cooled can only push low ray tracing less than 200 frames. So overkill, yes, but definitely a gaming monitor worth checking out. Leave your comments below, ask us questions, and we'll see you next time on the Chan Clan Life. This is Tech Talk, and this is the new Samsung Odyssey G6 SF 27-inch 500Hz gaming monitor.